What's going on, Pack? Steve from Pack Leader Dogs. Just getting back to Hoboken, New Jersey here after a consultation. I wanted to talk to you guys quickly about one of the most basic formulas that I use when working with dogs. So people are always asking me, how do you know what to do with different ages, different behaviors, different breeds, different whatever it may be? And the reality is, is I've broken it down into a formula that I learned years ago from Cesar Milan. And by the way, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Steve Del Savio. I own Pack Leader Dogs here in Hoboken, New Jersey. We service the whole New York City metropolitan area, dog training, dog boarding, board and train, walking, you name it, we do it. Um, but I also am an assistant trainer of Cesar Milan where we do workshops for people international. They come in internationally in Florida and LA. We do about six to 10 a year. And we're just basically teaching dog psychology and under, letting people understand how to be with dogs. Um, I'm also part of his team for the live shows where I'm a production manager, dog trainer backstage when we do live shows. Um, we're actually going to be going to Australia in September. So if there's any Australians, definitely leave some comments down below. We'd love to meet you guys. Um, so the formula is in this order, which is animal, dog, breed, name. That's the formula that we use. And what do I mean by that? Animal, which is the beginning part of the formula, is all about energy. So energy is universal amongst all species. So whether you see a dog or a cat or a goose or a bear or whatever this human, whatever the species may be, you can definitely interpret what is the energy of this animal. Is this, a, is this animal tense? Is this animal nervous? Is this animal fearful? Is this animal in an aggressive state? Is this animal unsure? Whatever it may be, it's easy to interpret that. The second part is, what do I do with that, with this species? So working with dogs, having the knowledge and understanding of dog psychology helps me to know what to do with each energy. So those are the first things that I focus on in the formula, which is animal and dog. What do most people in society, including vets, veterinary, veterinary behaviorists, dog trainers, groom, whatever it may be, people in society in general, they focus on the breed and the name. So meaning someone's, you, you walk into a place, oh my God, is this a Labradoodle? What's her name? Is this a pit bull? What's his name? I'm focused on, there's a nervous dog. I better practice no touch, no talk, no eye contact. I don't care what species it is. I'm sorry, I don't care what breed it is. It could be a pit bull, chihuahua, Great Dane, Maltese, whatever the breed may be. That's later on in the equation that we'll get to that. Right now, what I'm focusing on is this is a nervous dog. Let me practice no touch, no talk, no eye contact because this dog is in a nervous state. So giving attention to a dog in that state is not gonna help, right? Giving affection in that state. And we'll get into in later videos of what to do with different energies and how from dog psychology perspective we can deal with each each uh, energy state so i want you guys to practice instead of walking down the street and seeing oh there's a chihuahua there's a pit bull there's a mutt or whatever it may be challenge yourself to say what is the energy of that dog is that dog in an excited state is that dog in a nervous state is that dog in a tense state once you can learn to assess and evaluate that, which is really what I do and Caesar does, is we assess and evaluate from a distance, and then we say, okay, I can see here we have nervousness or we have excitement. Now, what do I do with that energy? So it's animal, species. Then later on in the equation, let's just say we have a Labrador. Okay, I've done, we've assessed this dog's energy. We know what to do with dog psychology. Now the breed comes into it, we're saying Labrador's tend to like water. They like to retrieve, right? German shepherds like to herd. Whatever the thing is, then we can go into the breed part of it. And then the name is just the sound that humans use and the dog knows that means something about me, All right? So those are the last two parts of the equation that the society is focusing on. So what they'll do is they'll walk up, let's just say that same nervous dog, they're gonna walk up and say, oh my God, is that a pit bull? What's her name? And then they reach right in, go to pet the dog without just totally disregarding the state of mind of the dog, the energy. They reach in, the dog either starts barking, moves back, growls, cowers. And then what's the human going to say? What's wrong with her? 
or what's wrong with him. There's nothing wrong with the dog. The dog is just saying, I'm nervous about you. But humans don't know what to do with the nervous energy when it comes to a dog. So guys, do your best in the beginning to focus on it. I'm going to do a bunch of videos in the future showing the different states of mind and body language that comes with those states so we can understand what to do with each state of mind from a dog psychology perspective. But challenge yourself. Go out there when you're on the street or you're walking, you go to a friend's house, your family house. See, what's the state of mind of this dog first? For, just forget about the breeds. Forget about the name of the dog. Say, what is this dog's energy? Once you can learn to assess and evaluate energy first, I'm going to do way more videos of teaching about dog psychology of what to do with that energy. Then once you know what to do with that energy, everything else becomes like clockwork of knowing what to do. Oh, and nervous dog, no touch and talk, no eye contact. Excited dog, same thing. Too much. If I feed that energy or pet that energy, I'm creating more excitement. So we'll get into, like I said, each, each different state of mind that we can deal with, how to deal with that thing. But focus on the energy of a dog first. Remember, animal, species, breed, name. So animal, dog, breed, name. Focus on animal and dog. Forget about the breed, forget about the name right now. Focus on animal and dog. And I think you guys are gonna start seeing a, way, a big difference with how dogs are gonna react to you. And we'll get into all about how to do with each energy, but hopefully that made a lot of sense to you guys. If you have any questions, comments, definitely leave them down below. Love to hear the feedback. And like I said, sorry about this shitty the phone mount thing that I have kind of makeshift right now we're gonna have one in the mail coming quick so we can get some steady video for you guys all right have an amazing weekend keep me posted on how you're doing and stay calm and confident talk to you guys soon